you guys it's me hi so i went to target and bought a ton of elf products ah! i'm going to take those products and put them all on my face let you know how i like them i saw people do this video and it was kind of interesting to watch so i'm gonna do the same this makeup i have on has to go so i'm gonna take it off and we'll get right into the video i'm so excited <laughs> And suddenly I have no eyebrows and pimples everywhere. <laughs> I literally hate makeup wipes. Ew. Okay, yeah, let's get this makeup on. <laughs> okay, guys, so the first thing I bought is the e.l.f. Illuminating Face Primer. Doesn't that just, like, sound so amazing? I love anything that has, like, illuminating in it. Oh my gosh, I literally see the sparkle in this. So just putting it on. Ah! Oh, I'm sparkling. This is no glow. This is a literal sparkle. It feels like silicone, which is good to fill in the pores. But your girl is um sparkling. I feel like I put glitter on my face. This is bad. Oh no! Get this off me. <laughs> Can you like see that sparkle? Girl. <laughs> what? Gosh, I should have just used glitter. So far, not a fan. If it makes my foundation last, then that's fine. Speaking of foundation, I got this. The packaging is so cute, by the way. It is the oil-free SPF 15 sunscreen flawless finish foundation. That's a lot. So I went to Target and they only had like three shades, so I have to use this. Don't think it's gonna be my shade. Ooh, that looks really light. Oh no. This looks like um, an under eye concealer shade. Oh no. So I'm just going to do dots on the face. This is actually a lot thicker than I was expecting. I also have really bad pores and textured skin. So this is like the ultimate test to see how good this foundation is. Guys, I'm going to look like a ghost. So a little goes a long way. So that's good. It's just not my shade. So yeah, if I have a bad foundation line, it's because this is too light. It's honestly not that bad. If you want like an everyday foundation, I feel like this would be really good because it gives good coverage, but it also looks like skin. So far, kind of liking this. Okay, moving on to concealer. I'm going to use the e.l.f. HD Lifting Concealer. You would think that this was like the full packaging. It's not. It's so tiny, but like it's not really fine. I wanted bigger. So far, I like the consistency. It's kind of dark. feel like it's darker than my actual foundation shade that I got. Ooh, wait. I actually really like this. Okay, so I like how natural this looks, but also it gives, like, really good coverage. Yes! I'm going to put some on my eyelids. So you guys can see the before and after. <laughs> I want to see if all this is buildable, so I'm caking it on. But guys, I'm actually really liking this, and it blends out really nice too. So guys, overall the foundation and concealer is actually so pretty together. But anyway, now for powder. Oh my gosh, don't tell me I forgot powder. Honestly, give this video a dislike, I'm failing. Leave it up to me to not only forget brushes, but also powder. Since I literally forgot powder, I have to use my own. Maybe I'll like the foundation even more. I'm gonna be using the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Powder. I really wish it was e.l.f., pretend that it's e.l.f. <laughs> Guys, this is actually turning out so good. I really wish I had somewhere to go after this. So, um, if you wanna buy this powder, you totally should. It works really great on those e.l.f. products. Honestly, would recommend buying these three products and using them together. It's so flawless. For the brows, since they're non-existent, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Brow Pencil, and this is literally the only shade they had, and it's called Neutral Brown. It looks black. <laughs> I literally give myself eyebrows, so we'll see how good this works. So, we have the spoolie, and then the pencil itself. Oh, it's at a point. I like that. The spoolie's nice. We're gonna have to see how this works. So far, I actually really like the consistency. It's like nice and waxy. So I did this eyebrow first so that you guys can see the difference. I'm actually really liking this. I like how the pencil has a point because some brow pencils don't have that. I'm just hoping that this will stay on long. Brows on point. I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Matte Contouring. It's a blush and bronzing powder. A little duo, how cute. So first I'm going to use the bronzer. Okay, here's for the moment of truth. I freaking love bronzer, so I hope this works good. 
Where are ya? Oh wait, oh my gosh, there you are. Okay. Why am I liking, oops. Why am I liking every single product? I was expecting this to like not show up, but it shows up guys. I'm honestly so impressed. Now we're gonna use the blush, which looks so beautiful. Okay guys, this e.l.f. bronzer and blush set was $4 together, and my bronzer alone was $12, and I feel like this is just as good or maybe even better. So guys, that was it for my face, and now we're going to move into eyeshadow, which I'm actually really nervous about. I'm not gonna eyeshadow. But this is the e.l.f. Flawless Eyeshadow in Golden Goddess. Ooh, this could really go downhill. I'm just gonna go in and just try to create a look. So I'm just taking the top color and putting it all over the eye. The fallout is really bad. Honestly, it's not really a color, it's just sparkle. <laughs> then I'm gonna go in with the third color down. It's like a burnt orange kind of color. I'm just gonna put this as like a transition shade. I literally don't know what I'm doing. I feel like I look crazy. And then I'm gonna go in with the dark brown on the bottom. Hopefully this will have color. No, nope, it doesn't. Oh no, what did I do? So the colors don't blend good together. I don't even know if you can see this on camera. Or you can and it looks way too dark. There's no in between. Okay, then I'm gonna grab a smaller brush, the same dark brown and smudge it on the bottom lash line. Oh, it shows up when I don't want it to show up that much. Okay, I'm so sorry, this shadow sucks. Would not recommend the eyeshadow, it does not look good. Okay guys, and lastly, I got this mascara. Hopefully it'll um, help out this eyeshadow look going on. So this mascara is the three-in-one e.l.f. mascara. I remember in sixth grade, I used like all e.l.f. makeup, and so I always used their mascara and I loved it. So let's see if I still love it. Whoa, it makes my lashes look super long. I like how the wand has the like ball thing because it makes it easy to coat my bottom lashes. So guys, I literally have sat with my sister talking to her, applying many cuts of this mascara. She literally did. <laughs> I wanted to get the volume, but it turns out I got clumps instead. And the mascara on my eyelids are not coming off. So guys, this is the completed look. I hope you enjoyed. I liked four out of seven things. I didn't like the primer, mascara, or eyeshadow. <laughs> Bye. We'll be reusing the stuff that I like. I would totally recommend trying this out. It's actually so much fun. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Follow my Instagram and Twitter at underscore Kaylee Grace. Subscribe and turn on the bell notifications to get notified every time your girl uploads a video. My eyelashes are like sticking together. <laughs> so guys, I think that's about it. Comment down below what videos you want to see from me. Do it, please. I love you. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.